something of a stupid motherfucker. Was always calling shit like this. The kind of shit that happened in the story I'm about to tell. I can't tell you. But you feel it the way you feel thunder. The way it speaks rain and beckons a turning back to man-made shelter beneath a rupture in the sky. A silent please between men who work to claim each other. Blood, who are supposed to take, to prove, to dig wide around what burns and not speak out loud about love. Elizabeth's husband was prideful and short-tempered and also he was an idiot. In disputes with neighbors, he would raise his gnarled seven-year-old finger and scold, please forget who my wife is. I like it. From the way he seems to have thought of himself as belonging to her as much as she belonged to him, for the way he was proud of her, he must have been very sorry about all that foolish pride, though, when he had to watch her die before they cut off his head. I love the word terminal, how it conjures a huge window to taxiing of planes, to planes taking off, that clockwork access to sky. Sorry, I'm sorry, to twist the airport into a gross metaphor. Here, a joke to make up for it. Two muffins are in an oven. One says to the other, it's getting hot in here. And the other says, holy shit, a talking muffin. Once, on a road trip to a very nice golf course, she slipped my dad, the developer who got her funding for her projects, a pot brownie. He didn't notice the difference, but talked longer and faster about urban development until she was so bored at driving the highways of his visions that she told him he was stoned and he better shut up already. What's that joke? What's black and white and red all over? And you know the answer is a newspaper, because you've heard this one before. But then you're told a nun falling down a flight of stairs. And this is how the world works itself out from under you. It is not a question of memory. Frost, inexplicable in a mirror like a river, muting my reflection. I see trembling southern fields, clouds clotted with shine. Body, still wet, covered in cold where the south hides. I run water over fear. Just trying to remember myself then, I feel wrapped up in those aggressively white walls, like the worst of something. Like when a person walks into a room where there's just you, and then that person turns around immediately without saying anything and walks back out. A desk cat for recollection. A slow drip down this nose, lips, chin, down, through the shoal of impulse in each border of this torso, star, lace, hip, belly, thigh, shin, beneath, my south, thick with pulse, I'll flux into history. In other news, some horizon has a nickname, which means there may have been water once on the moon, on TV, a boat parks the great Pacific crash vortex only for a second. I think we must want to leave, except gravity so loves us, we can't help but love the world we made and all its shadows. One follows me around like a dog. Notice how the snow makes the fields look like a bowl of shredded wheat? What? Doesn't it look like shredded wheat floating in milk? The cereal? Those faggot little fucking things? No, the big ones. They look like Beto's pit. What you have to break apart? You really the fuck up. Have you always been that way? The fields always make you shredded wheat. You stop talking about shredded fucking wheat, man. You shut up about it. What are you getting so upset about? It's fucking spooky. I can't answer this bitch from thinking about driving through a full series. Fuck that! See? I'm hungry now. Make me hungry. Fuck! Stewie ah! ah! cranked up the radio with one hand. With the other, steered his four bats for the pickup truck into the snow that was separating the wilty gravel back road with what might have been fuel. I learned Fred Sandback's name only after he killed himself and the newspaper ran in appreciation. What a surprise. The yarn guy is a very important person in certain circles. 
There were just enough strings to make a triangle in one corner, a trapezoid in the other, and a rectangle within the white rectangle of wall. It seemed like the point of the show was to illustrate how perfectly void the gallery was, and also how the curator only wore black and used a lot of foundation to make herself seem very pale. One of the teenagers in the gallery was Adam, who went to the alternative high school where all the kids were on drugs, I heard. Adam was on drugs. He had many piercings <laughs> and a skateboard, and no one dropped him off. He appeared as if by bus or some other miracle, as if he were an emanation of the city itself. A sandbag creates oppositions to the illusions of oppositions. You are what you say you are not. When my name streaked across the bleachers, across town, Reaching for the screaming white man, our black feathers rustled like midnight peacocks claiming our cage, the polished floor. We were across town. We were off the bus. We weren't safe. Not while playing away, a sweat soaked inside, patent leather Jordans, toes clenched like talons, cursing with our bodies under the buzzer's horn, straining to empty what gets stuck and hands fashioned into weapons that clutch torsos and throats hummed in muscle, flexed shut. Off at this distance, I hold less and less noise and more silence. But what if we are made of this violence? Thank <laughs> you.